with your eyes I done fell in love, love I done fell in love with your eyes I done fell in love with your eyes Welcome to my channel. My name is Keek Ari Chanel, but I go by Keeks. Keeks on the beat. Keeks with the cheeks. Kiwi, whichever one is fine with me. Today, Keeks on the beat is checking in, y'all. It's been a while since I've done a makeup. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my hair videos asking for a makeup routine. So here we are. I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to makeup routine, and I will be sharing with you guys the products that I use to achieve this look. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, then just continue watching. Okay, y'all. So if at any point this video switches over to a voiceover, it's because it's Memorial Day and people are starting early so they got their music blasting in the neighborhood. I'm starting off with my moisturizer. My skin, it be weird. Like in the summertime, like my skin be dry as the fuck. At least in certain areas. Like up here, it would be all sweaty and by my mouth, but like my nose and like my cheeks and stuff, my, my skin is really dry right there. So I'm gonna go in with some moisturizer because I am going to use a matte foundation. After that, I'm going to take um, my Rose Glow Oil. I got this from my home girl. Her name is Manaija. She has her own business. It's a cosmetic and skincare line, so be sure to check that out. I'll leave the uh, link in the description box. But I have a Rose Glow Oil, and I love using this. One, this oil um, a little goes a long way. And I just love the way it gives my skin like a very, 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 very nice glow. I love to use this in the summertime especially, but Whenever my skin is feeling dry or something like that, um, I'll just go in with this after I moisturize with ponds. And then I'll just be looking like she a motherfucking goddess. I be glowing. Literally. This also helps like if you want like a dewy, like a dewy makeup look. Or if you just want that natural shine to just peek through, even though you are using um, you know, a matte foundation in my case. But yeah, this helps with that as well. So my skin is all moisturizing. You guys will see why I just decided to do that because I'm about to go in with some primer. And this primer is matte. It's thick. <laughs> I don't want my skin to be dry. So I'm going to be using this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I think this is their travel size. I used it like three times. And I kind of like it. I really do like it. It's like very, 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 very thick. And it definitely does the job. So I'm going to apply it where my pores are kind of big and that's normally like just right in, underneath my eye and my cheek area so I'm gonna apply it right here then I'm gonna apply it to my smile line because I like smiling a lot but I don't like when the lines be peeking through so it's the summertime we do not want to be out here melting and shit so you don't have to do all of these steps necessarily, but y'all see how y'all see how my face not that you know shiny no more. Man, imagine if I just did that on my bare skin, I would have been dry as fuck. <laughs> so there's this little thing that I like to do um, with my eyebrows. I like to go in with this little elf brow brow gel, and I like to just brush over my eyebrows because my eyebrows are microbladed, so there's not much that I have to do. So I go in with this little gel first just to make sure everything is in place. And then I'm gonna go over it with Milk of Magnesia because I do want to fill them in, but I don't want them to look real dark, you know. They are already dark enough for my face. So the Milk of Magnesia is pretty much gonna dry my, um, it's gonna dry my eye, well, it's gonna get rid of the oils that's in my brows. And then also, like, it'll help as like a barrier so that it won't be too much um, when I fill it in. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna take this NYX um, brow pencil in this shade Espresso and I'm just going to go over my brows.
face, nigga. Okay, so I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to conceal my brows. I just recently tried the Shape Tape. And my go-to was normally the Too Faced multi sculpting Concealer. And I tried the Shape Tape because like, it's such a popular concealer. But I, I think I personally like the Too Faced better. But I do like the coverage that the Shape Tape gives. So I am going to use it for my brows. For the brows above I don't go in with this shade I go in with my foundation just so that there won't be like a cast or anything like that and this 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 brush still has like the uh, tart shape tape on there so it's just a mixture OG on the base, nigga. So now I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty foundation. This is full coverage and it's matte and it smells really good. This has been my go-to. My other foundation that I like to use is the Lancome Tint Idol. But I can't find it right now, so I'm just use this one today. And I really do like the coverage on this foundation. Like, although it's full coverage, you still have like the like finish if that makes any type of sense like I don't like when I do full faces I don't like for you to know that I have on like makeup for real <laughs> I don't know why that's just me um, and I feel like that played like the foundation and all that stuff plays a very big part in it so this foundation has been like my go-to because of that so yeah I'm just going to take about two pumps and just transfer it all over my face I like to spread the foundation out so then at, once I'm done like covering my face all I have to do is just buff it in and I don't put like foundation on my forehead at all I just use what's on the um, makeup brush after I'm done blending all of this down here end and then I just transfer it to my forehead um, that also helps with having like a natural like appearance before I blend it in I like to take my Morphe um, continuous setting mist and just spray my face real quick.
OG on the base, nigga. Okay, so after my foundation, I'll like take my concealer and I'm going to use Too Faced, my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. I think I'm chestnut. I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna apply it directly underneath my eye, my eyes. A little bit on my nose. And I'm gonna let it sit a little bit too as well. I'm gonna let it get tacky and then I'm gonna blend it out. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, tart as well and put it over. I don't put like highlight or anything up on my forehead because my forehead I already fed as hell. I don't need no more attention on there. So that's that. Put a little bit of the tart. Right on in there. See, it's pretty much the same shade, too. I don't know if I want to do anything to my eyes, but if I do, it'd be after I've like set everything. I think I am gonna do something to my eyes really quickly. I'm gonna use these two shades right here from the Juvia's Place Chocolate Palette. And hopefully I don't have no fallout because I don't have time. I don't have the time. Maybe I should wait. I think I'm gonna wait. No, actually I'm gonna just do it. And if I do get fallout, I'm gonna have to fix it before I blend in my concealer. Oh, this brush already had like some, um, it had this color on there too. That's probably why it looks like this.
going on my Juvia's Place setting powder in the shade Gobi. And I'm just going to press, press it in first. And then I'm going to use a brush to just add layers. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit and I'm going to go in and contour. I can't find my cream contour, but I've been um, liking cream contour a lot too. It just gives me a different look. Since I can't find my cream contour, I'm just going in with my powder contour and just graze over my cheeks a little bit. I low key prefer bronzer now over contour. And I don't know, bronzer just gives me that that warmth that I need for my makeup look so immediately after I contour I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and this contour kit is the black radiance contour kit the shade medium to dark and while I'm contouring I'm just gonna start brushing off the powder Something happened right here. I don't know what. Okay, now I'm gonna take my bronzer. I used the Hula Toasted Bronzer by Benefit. I don't really care for the brush that comes with this bronzer. I just feel like it's not precise enough. Like, if I don't use it correctly, it could be a hot mess. But then again, I do like to OD on the bronzer, so I really don't be caring for real. OG on the base, nigga. And I take my makeup brush and I'll just go over everything that I just did. Just so there aren't any harsh lines. Everything blends in together. And then I take another little brush and I go in with my bronzer. And I just like kind of define like my nose bridge area. I'm going to go in with the powder one more time. Just very light layers. my lashes on everybody always asking me every single time I post a video I always get a comment about my lashes where my lashes from these are my go-to lashes right here y'all right here 
right from the beauty supply. They are the Mystic Lash number 111. I also use number 110 too sometimes. But yes, the Mystic Lash number 111. And I'm gonna take my hair glue. Sorry, regular lash glue just don't do it for me. Um, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> when you apply your lashes, you wanna make sure the glue dries just a little bit. So with anything, you just want it to get a little bit tacky. The tackier, the better. Just don't let it dry out on you. And I didn't do it in today's video, but my biggest tip for making sure everything is blended and seamless and all that good stuff is to always, 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 always take a picture. Take a picture of your makeup. Like while you're in the process. Like for example, when you do your foundation, take a picture of that, take a video. Just always, always, always go in and take a picture of your work. Um, you can never be too sure. Today I decided not to do that. So we're going to hope and pray <laughs> that my makeup is blended. Because you don't want to be all the way at the last step. And then you have to go back. That's just doing too much. So I always take a picture and video in between every single step. Okay, now that those are on, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I applied a little bit of this, mainly to my natural lashes so that it blends in with the falsies. And then I apply some mascara in my uh, lower lashes as well. Okay, and now for blush. Sometimes I take this Milani blush in the shade Berry More. I like this blush because it has a little bit of highlight, so it doubles up for that. Um, because I haven't really been into highlight lately. But I don't know if I want to use this blush today. I kind of want like something peachy. I'm going to go in with this color right here from the Juvia's Place palette. This is the Warrior palette, and I'm going to use this for my blush today. Then I'm going to take some lip gloss. This is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lifted Gloss. This one is shade Ice. It just has like a pink tint to it. I go in with this or I use like my Fenty Beauty Fussy or Glass. I don't really do too much lips. I like a, a good gloss. Mm. And then once I'm done, I just take my setting mist again and spray my entire face. I literally drown it. Flash friendly approved. Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you were able to learn something 
or be able to apply something into your own makeup routine if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you guys want to see more makeup videos or anything makeup related just leave me a comment and let me know by liking this video that's all i really have don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and also turn on your post notifications so that you're aware of when i post and as always i'll see you guys in my next one bye Bye. 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 Bye.